you. It's been, oh, it's been almost a year. I swear, I am so sorry for whoever um, watched my videos. Thank you for coming back and um, welcome to my channel. I would say this is, uh, I would say I just started my channel because um, I've been procrastinating uploading all the videos, but I am back, okay? So today we're going to talk about how to grow that glutes. So, I want to focus on what to eat today. Um, what I have been eating to grow my glutes. I got a few options for you guys, and I'm gonna talk about my top five. And they are my ride or die, they are my life savers. So, so number one I wanna talk about is potatoes. <laughs> so I was, I was obsessed with potatoes. I will have potatoes for my carbs almost every single day. But at first I was kinda obsessed with sweet potatoes, and I would say they're kinda the same, it's up to you. But they are both really good. You want to really be careful if you are trying to lose that weight. So potentially, potatoes are carbs. Mid-sized potato has under 60 grams of calories and 30 and 37 grams of carbs. Don't overeat them. It's great source of vitamin C, B6, and potassium. Coming to my number two for you will be Greek yogurt. However, I don't have it here because I just quit my dairy about three days ago. I quit my dairies for the competition, as you guys know, and I start to put my dairies into my diet about a month ago, but I just didn't like it anymore and start giving me crampy stomach. So then, um, so then I watched this video about dairies um, I would talk about dairies in the next videos, but however, um, I believe it's not necessarily good for your health because you can get those nutrition uh, from whole foods as well. So I just quit my dairies and um, I don't have it with me right now. Suggestion for yogurt lovers will be fat yogurt or, or fat free. And um, my personal favorite brand is, I mean, I was, I was obsessed with um, Tobani coconut flavor. Tobani has the best coconut um, Greek yogurt ever. <laughs> I love it, but I, I stopped eating them. I, I just completely stopped it. Number three, I want to talk about <laughs> whole wheat bread. So this is basically what I have. And you can see all the nutrition in here. Everything is whole. So you see the first one was organic whole wheat flour. So you want to you wanna really be careful of what you buy. The first ingredient contains the most in the food. So that means with this bread, um, it contains the most whole grain flowers in it. I kind of just start eating um, whole wheat bread again because which I completely quit uh, anything processed before. So um, what I first started was I I did eat a lot of bread. I tend to choose whole wheat so why choose whole wheat bread over um, white bread? Why? Let me tell you because White bread um, is starchier than whole wheat bread and it converts into sugar faster than the whole wheat does. It means that it will make you hungry faster. And um, however, with whole wheat bread, it has more fibers in it, which makes you feel a little longer. And on top of that, it prevents body from processing the bread too quickly. I don't know because I love them both so I would say let's talk about nuts so my favorite is walnuts I um my when I first started I love almond and then um I think because I had too much of almonds 
so I kind of got sick of it and I switched to walnut which I currently love right now my favorite food in the whole world is peanut butter okay give me one second um my my suggestion for you if you are a peanut butter lover uh look at the ingredients if you can so look at this one ingredients only has it only has um peanuts and contains one percent or less of salt which is um it basically has nothing only peanut butter and a little bit of salt and um because i ran out of this one and i couldn't find it anymore so i actually found a better one from h-e-b and it only has dry roasted peanuts that is it so if you want to buy peanut butter if you want to try to eat healthier um i would say go for something like this the cleaner ingredients uh it has in the food so this one's pretty clean so i stick to this one i so i like my walnuts in in everything i can just eat walnut by itself and I used to pair it with my yogurt, with some berries, and some bonanta. And you make your own Instagram snack. The walnut contains most omega-3 acids, which fight inflammation. Okay, Whew. and a lot of information for you guys. Jumping to my, 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 my favorite, favorite one, the fifth one. It's my personal favorite. I still have it every single day. I know sometimes it's a little too much to have it every day, but it's avocado. I love avocado and I see the biggest difference with avocado actually. Essentially, what is your butt? Your butt is fat. And what is avocado? Avocado is fat as well. You wanna grow that butt, you are potentially gonna gain weight. That is a fact. So you really want to be careful with avocado because it's pure fat and um, avocado, a medium avocado size has 30 grams of fat which normally um, that's all you need for a day, 30, I would say 30 to 40, it really depends on your weight and your goal but my fat intake every day is um, not more than 75 grams of fat because I'm trying to gain weight. Last but not least. I want to say eating these food not doesn't doesn't make your butt perky. You still need to work out. So I would say if you ever um, if you ever want to you know lift that butt and go work out, don't forget your protein because that's how your muscle repair and grow. Everything is moderation. So I wouldn't I wouldn't say bread every single meal. I would say just have it once, maybe um, during your breakfast or maybe lunch, who knows, you can make your own sandwich out of it. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it helps you. Oh, by the way, I want to say one thing that's so important because um, growing your glutes is not so easy but not so hard at the same time. It really um, requires your patient and uh, consistency. Stick with your workout routine and um, these foods are just the food that I see the most result out of it. So be careful of all these, don't overeat them as what I said a little earlier with every food don't overeat. I wish you all have a wonderful day and I will have more video coming out. I promise you guys, I promise. And that's it. That's all I have for today. Oh, forgot to say, I want to say if you like this video, please, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.